Hi there, I'm Paul from sketchfab.com and I wanted to spend a few minutes with you just to show you how easy it is to get set up and selling on the Sketchfab store. So congratulations, you've uh, been approved to sell on the Sketchfab store. So what now? Now, once you've been approved, you can certainly go ahead and start getting items set up for sale, but they won't be publicly listed available to purchase until you have a PayPal account connected. And this, of course, is to make sure that you can receive the funds from the sales that you make. So let's go ahead and, and set that up first. So go ahead to your account settings. You can see here on the right hand side and go down to settings. And here on the left hand side, if we go to account, you'll see this will be the area to connect your PayPal account. Uh, you can see in my particular case that I already have my PayPal account connected and it's waiting validation. And at any time you can go ahead and unlink it if you need to change it and update it to a different account. Now you probably already have a PayPal account that you use to buy things online. But please note that you may need to use a, a, a set up an additional account to use with sketchfab.com uh, that will allow you to receive funds as well as send them. Uh, it's also free, but it does need to be listed as a business account. In most countries though, that's going to be as simple as listing yourself as a sole proprietor or individual, and there's no real hoops or steps to jump through. So once you've got that hooked up, uh, you'll be uh, ready to go. In my case, it just took a couple of minutes. So we're all set up now, uh, and while we're waiting for that validation, we can go ahead and start setting up our first model. So let's do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead uh, to my page here on Sketchfab. And what I want to do is go ahead and upload my first model. Now you can see up here in the right hand side, we have an upload button, or you can go ahead and uh, pretty much drag a file in from any browser. So let's go ahead and hit upload, and you can see here the kind of common formats that are supported. If you go to sketchfab.com slash features, you'll see all the different kinds of uh, uh, formats that we support uh, from every imaginable 3D software. You can also see here it says um, tip, you can upload directly f with one of our exporters from your 3D editor. So whether you're using Maya or Modo or Blender, Cinema 4D and so forth, uh, in, uh, in all of those cases, you can go ahead and download a free exporter and upload directly to Sketchfab without even having to, lose, uh, to leave your environment. In my case, I have an OBJ file. I like to use OBJ or FBX. I find they have good interoperability between different software, so I commonly use that, and that's what I have here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my file to upload, and you can see here, here I'm going to be uploading a model that I made uh, in ZBrush, and it is a, uh, um, an OBJ. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my OBJ here and open that up, and you can see it's listed here, and we'll go ahead and upload that. So hit continue, and that's just going to take a moment to upload. So while that's uploading in the background, let me tell you a little bit about what we're seeing here and why this is important. And I should add that this is the same process for uploading any model to Sketchfab. It just so happens that in this particular case, we're going to go ahead and set it up for sale. So the first thing I might do is go ahead and set this to private, just so uh, while I'm working on this, I know that it's not going to be live in the store. And I'm going to want to give it a, a name uh, that's probably more uh, relevant than the name I went ahead and chose for my zip file. So uh, in my case, let's call this anatomical skull. Um, and maybe I'll even say human. Or how about anatomical human male skull? Uh, you'll notice my choice of words here is very deliberate. Um, obviously, you may have a, a more of an artistic choice of words that you may want to use, but think about the fact as a giant, uh, the store is a giant database. A lot of people are going to be searching for potential objects that they want to buy, and these might be the kind of terms that they use. So it's very important to use um, uh, terminology that you feel that someone might search for, uh, that's going to give you a, the best chance of appearing in the, uh, in the store itself. And of course, we can go ahead and give it a description. So I'm going to come back to this a little later for some further details, but right now I'm going to say um, human skull. Uh, uh, let me think. Sculpted in ZBrush Core in my particular case. Um, suitable for anatomical demonstration or as a prop 
in games. And uh, so that's at least given uh, a sentence or two there that describes the, uh, the uh, particular object. And again, this is going to help with search. Um, so something else that's very important is to go ahead and uh, pick some appropriate categories to make sure that you appear in the right places in the store. And you can see I can pick up to two here. So let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and pick science and technology. Uh, because I think that's appropriate. Someone might be using this for medical or scientific purposes. Uh, what else do we have here? And I'm also going to go ahead and hit characters and creatures because some people might use this more in a gaming uh, context as well. And finally here you can see there's an opportunity to add tags and we have some recommended tags here based on some things that I've uploaded in the past. Um, and again, tags are very important to the search process, uh, not just on Sketchfab, but within the Sketchfab store. So it's important to uh, think carefully about this. So um, let, let's think here. I'm going to put um, science, medical, um, skull, human, bones would be a good one. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Let's think if we can think of another one here. Uh, let's say doctor. Again, this is uh, all going to help with appearing uh, on sketchfab.com. So let's go ahead and hit continue. So this is just going to take a couple of moments to process on Sketchfab's side. It's basically taking the file that we've uploaded and it's going to go ahead and set this up ready uh, to view in the 3D viewer. So let's give that a couple of minutes and we'll come right back. Okay, and we're back, and here's our model, and it's uploaded. Um, and you'll note that it might not be exactly how we want it to look, but this has just been uploaded in the default view here uh, with default lights and cameras. So we can go ahead and set that up. Uh, so one of the first things we might want to do is go into the 3D settings. There's a number of different ways to go there, but you can see here on the right-hand side we have 3D settings. So let's go ahead through there. And you'll also probably notice there was a note saying that this is currently in draft mode. It's not published yet. And you can see up here there's still an op opportunity to publish this. So while I did mark it as private, it's still not live. So it gives us plenty of an opportunity to get things set up the way we want to. So I'm not going to do a, a full in-depth on 3D settings. If you go to our help center, there's lots of great information there on getting set up. But certainly one of the few things you might want to do is sort of set up lights and get a few things set the way you like. So if I go here to the lighting tab, you can see I've got a choice of different uh, um, lighting environments. Some of these, like the studio light I've uploaded myself for past models. Uh, some of these are included uh, free with us. So I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, use uh, my standard lighting environment. Uh, I can go ahead and change the orientation, see if this is sort of favorable. I probably want something at a kind of a glancing angle like that, so I get to see, you know, more of the detail here. Seems like it's pro probably a little bit strong, so we'll just lower that light intensity down here. And one of the other things I might want to do is adjust the background, because, uh, you know, we want this uh, skull to stand out, so I can use an environment. Uh, if you're a pro subscriber or above, you can go ahead and upload an image. Uh, in my case, I'm going to add a color. Well, that's actually pretty cool. So that's just the default color, and that's standing out nicely here. Now, for the purpose of uh, today's demonstration, I didn't go ahead and choose anything particularly complicated. You can certainly go ahead and upload uh, textures and so forth in your uh, zip file when you go ahead and upload. Uh, but because this is a sculpt that came from a ZBrush environment, there aren't really any textures. It's just the object itself. But that said, I can go ahead and still set up some basic textures. I could go ahead and give this a basic color here, uh, maybe something that is a kind of a bone-like uh, color, perhaps. So that's looking pretty good, but I might also might want to take advantage of using a matte cap look here, given that this came from a uh, ZBrush environment. So I can go back here and you can see on my renderer, I can use classic PBR or matte cap. So that's that's a pretty cool kind of setting right, right away there. Um, and let's go back here to our materials and you can see here, there's different choices and these will load in as well. So skin lighting, skin clay, and these all come by default within Sketchfab. So that's pretty good. I like, I think I like the look of that one. Maybe try one more gray. No, let's go back to this one here. I think that really adds some color here. I also like the angle that this is sort of being shown at here. You can see I'm sort of moving around the object here. And up here on the top hand side, you've got save view here. Go ahead and click that at any time. And that will go ahead and save my default view here and also set my thumbnail. And of course that's important within the store as well. I want to make sure that, um, 
my uh, my object is easy to find and looks good when it's uh, being seen. So let's go ahead and save settings. I think that's uh, set up nicely for now. And let's exit out of 3D settings. So we've got our skull looking the way we want it to. Uh, again, I could have spent some more time there, but I really want to focus on, on getting kind of you set up for sale here. And you can see now this is now the default skull, uh, look and uh, feel for that. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this set up for the store. And this is where things are a little different from uh, uploading a regular model to Sketchfab. So you can see here, do I want to set this to be freely downloadable, uh, not downloadable at all, or paid? Now, because this is going to be going into the store, I'm going to go ahead and choose paid. Uh, and you can see here, your model will not appear in the store until you publish it. Uh, so let's go ahead and give this a price. Now, again, if you uh, join us as a seller, you're going to get an invite to our forum. Uh, there are We have a closed group within the forum that has lots of great information, hints and tips on being a seller on the store. And a subject that comes up quite often with us is how do I go ahead and price uh, my model. So we're going to go ahead. Uh, so I, I, I recommend that you go and take a look at that um, because there's lots of great tips there on sort of pricing appropriately. And remember, of course, you can adjust your price at any time. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to price this at $15. And now I need to pick a license for it. Again, we have lots of great information on licensing, but this is very important. Generally speaking, there are these two licenses, standard and editorial. Uh, because this is an object that I, I made myself, sculpted myself, I own all of the rights to this piece of work, so I can go ahead and list this as a standard item. If I were uh, perhaps uploading some fan art or uploading maybe a model of uh, a, a, an iPhone or an Android phone or something that's branded that I've created the object but I don't own the intellectual property rights, I would go ahead and choose editorial in this case as well. Again, either one of these options is suitable for sale. In my case, standard is fine. So let's go ahead and save changes. So that's the changes saved. Um, but also important here, you'll see you have an opportunity here to upload an additional file. Now, you may have noticed when I was uploading my OBJ that I uh, uploaded an OBJ file that was listed as decimated. Uh, in that particular case, what I wanted to do is upload something that I knew would, would display nicely on Sketchfab and on mobile devices and be really great in the viewport. And of course, folks can come in here and zoom and get a strong sense of what it is they're purchasing here. Um, but I actually want to upload the original high resolution file as well and some additional files. So let's go ahead uh, to upload file. And actually, I'm just going to go uh, briefly to my desktop here. Um, let's see, to the finder. And you can see I've created this additional file here. I've got the decimated OBJ that I went ahead and uploaded. And then I've got another OBJ file that is the original 3 million vertices, which is not decimated. And I also have the Skull uh, uh, ZBrush project file as well here. So this is a great opportunity to go ahead and provide different kind of formats uh, for uh, anybody who purchases your file uh, so that they're getting kind of bonus materials, so to speak. And I've gone ahead and I've added these to a zip file. So let's go back uh, over here and I'm going to go ahead and upload that file. And here we are, if we go back out to the desktop, uh, and there is my zip file. I'm going to go ahead, open that, and upload that. So that's now going ahead and uploading. Um, you can, you'll, um, you'll see that we actually uh, have different uh, up accepted formats. We do do a certain amount of processing on our side to kind of look inside that file and list uh, what is available. But it's also a great opportunity uh, to go ahead and um, provide further information to the buyer. Again, we want to do everything we can to make sure that our sale is successful. We're obviously giving folks an opportunity to, to view our model in the viewport, uh, but anything we can do to help convince them that this is the right sale can help as well. So I'm going to also go ahead and add some of that additional information to my description down here as well, so that in addition to the model information which is coming in as standard here, I can go ahead and add the description. 
Um, while I'm uh, waiting for this to upload, one thing that's also worth noting is remembering that we have our model inspector, and this is really something that really makes the store unique, is the opportunity to go ahead and preview the model. Uh, in this case, because we don't have any texture maps associated with it, and we're using a matte cap texture, the, uh, the options here are relatively uh, limited, but it's still a chance for somebody to kind of zoom in here and get a look at that geometry. And we'll go ahead and put final render here. And if I did have any uh, uh, textures here, I would be also be able to preview them here as well. So that's a great uh, chance to really allow somebody to see your work. So that zip is just going to take a few minutes to upload. So let's give that a, a, a moment and we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back, and you can see that that's uploaded here and the changes have been saved. So, uh, again, this is not live yet. It's still uh, yet to be published. Um, I went ahead at the beginning and set this to private. I'm going to go ahead and edit that now. I'm going to turn privacy off. And while I'm in here, now that I've uploaded that file, as I mentioned, I think this is a great opportunity to provide anything that I think is going to be additional information for the buyer. So I'm going to uh, say the following. Um, preview... Uh, shows decimated uh, uh, version of the skull uh, skull extra uh, files include uh, original mesh and ZBrush project file that might be handy for somebody who wants to bring this in directly into Z ZBrush itself Go ahead and save that. You can see here, I'm getting a thumbs up for my discoverability because I've given it a title, description, uh, categories, and tags here. And you'll notice you can also go ahead and attach images uh, to your, uh, and use some basic formatting to your description here as well. So that anything you can do to provide some in, uh, additional information is gonna help. So let's go ahead and save that. And here we are again. One last reminder, your, store, uh, your model will not appear in the store until you publish it. Let's go ahead and publish the model. Your model has been published, congratulations. And here is a link uh, to go ahead and see it. And of course, um, that's really just the beginning. Uh, there's a number of things that you can do at, at any point. Uh, you should be thinking uh, closely about how sales are performing. You might want to come back, for example, and adjust the price at some point. Uh, in my particular case, it, immediately one thing I might think about is changing it from $14 to, uh, $15 to $14.99. Uh, that might help uh, improve my chances of selling. And uh, now in the background again, just one last processing that's taking po uh, part. And that's basically Sketchfab is pulling together all of those files and making it uh, available to download. Um, and here I have an opportunity to change the file if I have an updated version at some point and I want to provide some additions there as well. So a uh, couple of other quick things just to cover before we sign off. Uh, one is don't forget here under your drop down here you have an opportunity to see both purchases and sales. And this is a place that you can go to in your dashboard uh, to see uh, your activity uh, on the store. Um, and of course you'll get email notifications when you sell an item as well. Um, and really the rest is up to you. Uh, think about uh, going ahead and sharing uh, uh, your model on your social media, on your blog, on your portfolio. Uh, encourage people to come and check it out. Let people know that it's for sale. You can see here that we have a direct short link to it and the ability to go ahead and embed it. Um, and you could go ahead and embed it on your portfolio, uh, add it to Facebook, Twitter, and so on and so forth. Um, as with all things store related, uh, we're providing a great opportunity for you to go ahead and sell your work, uh, but you really need to be thinking uh, strongly about how to market it as well. And again, uh, we'll, we'll follow up with lots of great uh, hints and tips on becoming a successful seller on the store. You'll receive emails from us, and don't forget to join our forum group uh, where you'll see a bunch of great information there as well. And uh, I guess finally, one last thing I'd mention, if we go ahead now to my, uh, to my page on, on Sketchfab itself, uh, you'll see a, if you have items for sale in the store, you will have a store page here. Uh, and uh, of course, this is in addition to appearing uh, within the store results as well. And here are two other previous items I had for sale. And you can now see here 
uh, my uh, skull that is for sale as well. So thank you. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, and I wish you the very best of luck on selling on the Sketchfab store.